Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I hope the channel finds you guys safe and well. Meghan and Harry claim that they have regrets over the timing of the bombshell interview being aired. But do they really? This is a couple that sat down with Oprah as Prince Philip went into hospital. This wasn't just some months back pre-recorded interview. No, this couple must have recorded the interview at least a month prior to it being aired, I believe. Meghan looks quite heavily pregnant in the interview. Did she buy a size up in terms of the moon bump for full effect? That's something I can't comment on because I really don't know. She was seated and she was clutching her stomach as always, or should I say the moon bump, which some of you have suggested on my channel. They say they are filled with regret over the interview and that they wished things could have been different. But I say this selfish pair simply said that for some brownie points because they know how bad they look right now in the public's eye. I don't think they meant a word of what they said. But they hoped that one day they would get on with William and Kate and repair the fractured relationship in so many words. Not exactly as I've stated it, because I'm not reading a script, guys. I tell it as it is. To drag your sister-in-law so publicly and twist the whole narrative of what went down and to sit there and publicly blame everybody else around you and not take any accountability at all makes me question what the hell went on. And I don't think they do have major regrets, quite frankly. I really don't. Those two would have done that interview and had it aired, regardless of what was going on in the UK. Such is Harry's detest for the royal family, which I've said on numerous occasions makes no sense in my mind because it's the very thing that has given him the lavish life that he seems so unhappy to accept. This is a man that is living in Montecito in a mansion and has deals lined up here, there and everywhere. And Meghan, although she was a millionaire when she met Harry, she was no way as famous as she has become since marrying into the royal family that her and her husband are so desperate to tear apart. And I believe that that is basically due to the fact that their son, Archie, did not receive a title. And Meghan desperately wanted that. She didn't just want to return to the United States of America with her son just being Archie Mountbatten. She wanted him to be a prince. And she took personal offence to the fact that he has not received that title. When we look at Prince Anne's children, they don't have a title and their children don't have a title and they lead a regular life. Well, as regular as it can be expected, given the fact that they are members of the royal family. But you don't hear them whinging and whining on like Harry and Meghan have done. I find it very, very difficult to believe for one second that these two have any regrets about that interview being aired as Prince Philip lie in hospital recovering from what was major heart surgery. Guys, tell me what you think. I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment and subscribe as always. Bye for now.